Good day everyone, I'm meteorologist Adam Kolpak. Want to recap what happened today. We had a record high of 64 in Medford this afternoon. After a very chilly start at 24, you can see the averages 33 and 47 and 18. That was the record low temperature and that was set back in 1959. And yes, back in 1981, the old record high was 62. We made it up to 64 because we had the winds kick up out of the south and southeast off the Siskiyou Mountains, then went right through Ashland and then came right up through Medford. That's what gave us the warming temperatures and also not as much fog. We had a little bit in the morning, but we had plenty of sunshine during the day, so it ended up being a really nice day. Our forecast, though, overnight tonight into tomorrow morning is going to give some frost advisories in effect from 2 a.m. through 8 a.m. Thursday morning. This includes parts of Coos County, especially Coos Bay and especially the inland areas away from the coast. And spots also east of Brookings where temperatures could bottom out between 33 and 39 degrees. So it'll be another chilly start. And unfortunately, I have to talk about this. I'm going to be talking about this, unfortunately, for the next several days. We have air stagnation advisories in effect until 4 a.m. Wednesday, December 13th. And that includes the valleys east and west of the Cascades, the Road Valley, Illinois Valley, up through Douglas County and the Klamath Basin. Because of light winds and limited vertical mixing, this may diminish air quality over the next week or so. Now, those southeast winds actually did help us out today in Medford and Ashland, help clean out the air, not only with the warming effect, but also giving us less fog. All right, the high pressure system will remain in control here. Here's our ridge. You can see normally the storm track would let the rain and snow move in from the west and northwest. Unfortunately, because of this high pressure ridge, it's causing the storms to go up and over and that's the reason why we're in this pattern right now. We will still have some areas of fog, freezing fog, low clouds, especially late tonight and tomorrow morning. We should see, though, more sunshine and plenty of it during the day on Thursday. On Friday, we may have a similar pattern and also into the weekend. However, we may start to get more fog developing late at night into the morning overall. Our forecast for the coast, lows will be in the 30s and 40s. So it's going to be a chilly night, especially up towards Coos County in the inland areas. There may be some patchy areas of frost late tonight into tomorrow morning. We'll see plenty of sunshine, though, develop during the day with highs in the 50s and 60s. So the coast overall is still looking pretty good. As we move inland, our low temperatures will generally be in the 20s and 30s. However, because of that south and southeast wind off the Siskiyou Mountains, that has been moving into the southern parts of the Rogue Valley. I've kept the temperature up a little bit for Ashland, possibly lows only in the 40s and highs generally in the 40s and 50s. If we keep up that south and southeast wind for tomorrow with the sunshine, we may make it to the 50s and possibly even into the 60s in some parts of the Rogue Valley. East of the Cascades, low temperatures will be in the single numbers through the teens. However, I have it a little bit milder at 26, above the inversion for Crater Lake and high temperatures generally in the upper 30s right through the 40s. If you are heading to Crater Lake, lucky dog you, it is looking pretty good with plenty of sunshine, but please grab the sunscreen because there's still going to be plenty of sunshine during the day and 12 and 47 for the numbers for all tourists. Here's our seven day forecast. As you can see, we still have areas of fog expected, especially late at night and during the morning hours. I do expect plenty of sunshine, though, overall for the Rogue Valley on Thursday, especially during the afternoon. Now, Friday into the weekend into early next week, we may get back into the pattern of seeing more fog late at night and during the morning and then gradually becoming sunny during the day. Highs should generally be in the 40s and 50s. But again, on Thursday, if we get more of that south and southeast wind, there could be some areas that actually make it into the 60s. Lows will generally be in the 20s right through the 30s for the Klamath Basin. Chilly starts for you, but nice days ahead. Highs in the upper 30s right through the 40s with plenty of sunshine. At times, late at night and during the early morning hours, there could be some patchy freezing fog. For Mount Shasta City, your highs are looking good. 40s and 50s for highs and low temperatures generally in the 20s with plenty of sunshine overall for the coast. Thursday's looking pretty good. We have highs in the 50s and 60s. There may be some more fog, though, developing later Thursday night into Friday and also later Friday night into Saturday. Low temperatures will generally be in the 30s and 40s.